Hi there, this is Dr. Christina Rom, and I am the host for today's podcast on Cure the Causes. We are talking about issues that really matter in life and talking about influencers that really have used their life to really change things and to make life better for all of us. And today I have the opportunity to meet with the queen, Regina. <laughs> that's what your students call you, correct? And that's what yes. people call you. Yes, that's right. Because of, I have double, Regina means queen and my last name means king. So there's no opportunity to say it better than queen. And more than 40 years I've been called like that. Well, and she, so Regina is a friend of mine, but she's also one of the leaders in the Root community, and she has a book, and she's going to be on television, and she's lived a very long life, and a, and a fulfilled life, but it hasn't been without hardship. So I'd love for you to share a little bit about yourself, Regina, and um, share even some of your pain. I'll ask questions as well, but also some of your success, because I know that our audience wants to hear about all of it. I'm glad to tell whatever you like to know. So you are how old, can I ask? Yes, I always say I'm nearly 80, so it's not that far until this date. Well, I can tell you that one of my best friends, Joy Smallwood, is like, I want to be Regina. Because <laughs> we have these pictures in Cyprus where you're diving off into the water and your beautiful figure and your beautiful smile you can see in the pictures because you are, um, you've lived a long life, but you don't even look like you've lived a long life. Uh, sometimes uh, I remember this, that this is the case, but um, it really is true. I have a long life and it has been the most time very nice. And the people ask me how I get my shape. It's always the same. And they ask me what fashion I did and what sports I do. <laughs> and this was a very funny story because I never did sport. <laughs> I just tried it one time. Do you remember the time when Jane Fonda started with aerobic? Yeah. And that time I decided this is my sport because it was sexy and very tight suits and uh, the band here, yeah. the, the headband and all these rings about the, the feet and the hand. I don't know the name for this. Yeah. And I think this is my sport. Yeah. I love it. And I go <laughs> beautifully dressed. I took three, <laughs> three, of, three of them, three different colors. <laughs> and I decided, oh, I take the pink one. And then I went there to the first lesson. And I think it has been a little bit a lesson that people did it before. But I start today. And after five minutes, I lay on the floor <laughs> like an insect or whatever and no, didn't get any breathe anymore. And then I decided, no, it's no sport <laughs> like for me. Insect. And this is the only Regina, experience. Regina, what do you mean you lay down like an insect? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the light, like this. You, you know, the one with the, I don't know. The like butterfly. Or whatever, yeah, the or butterfly. Something like, yeah, something like that. So I decide... Sport is not my thing. So, this <laughs> is you're an artist. Only, yes, I'm an artist. You're yes, an artist. my <laughs> only experience with, with this. Uh, no sports. And the, <laughs> the designer we had just now here, you, you interviewed Jess. Yeah. He told me that I'm a very sportive person and he wants to tell me how strong I am. And then he told me, you did sports your whole life. Otherwise, you cannot have that, that shape. And you and said I, no. <laughs> yes, I just told him the same story. He laughed as well. He, I'm yeah. sure he did. I'm sure he did. I love your fashion too, by the way. And that's why I kind of combined all of them together because you cr come up with your clothes, right? Yes, sure. And they're of beautiful. Course. They really are. Um, I mix everything together. If I go shopping, I just look for special things. And if they are not special enough, I do it. I cut something off. I saw something on. Glitter, bling, bling, always have to be so the queen, you know, I need to be <laughs> happy, shiny. Yes. Otherwise, the people will not remember. And I <laughs> told the people a, a funny story. If in one year, we are now in Monaco, 
somebody will ask the people, did you remember this lady? Did they you will see say her yes. ever? They say, okay, that has been. They will remember in, you. In the, yes. I yes. love that. I love that. I, You know, my mother used to always tell me I was special and I hated it because I was like, she would say, oh, Christina, you're just special. And I'd be like, oh my gosh, I don't like that word. But now I do. The older I am, now I understand. I, I was different. I was unique. I hated that for some reason when I was younger. It, it, to me, it sounded like, wait, I want to be like everyone else. But now that I'm older, um, I love that. And you are definitely unique. You're definitely special. And that's a compliment. That's why I said that earlier when I was talking. That's a compliment. Um, Because I think sometimes people will say special or unique, and that's not a compliment. Mine's a compliment because you are someone you always remember. It's kind of like Birgit. I always remember Birgit because she's different, right? She's special. And it doesn't mean I don't love everyone, but it's easy to remember people that kind of stand out. And you've, you've lived a long life. You've had more than one husband. Yes. You've got to read this book. It's called The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Have you heard of it? Have you heard of this book? Yes, it's I a heard. very great but, book. Yes, I didn't read it, but you I heard of it. You have to read it because I've been married a couple of times too. <laughs> I always say it was not my easiest thing to be with men uh, because I'm so independent mm-hmm. and I do so many of my own things. It was actually never a dream of mine to get married or have children. And I have four children and, you know, I'm with Clayton. <laughs> I am married yeah. to Clayton and I'm very happy. But if I couldn't be myself or someone tried to change me, um, it would not work for me. Mm-hmm. And I know you have had very various experiences and I'd love for you to share that with your audience, because, with our audience, because you've been through some bad relationships and particularly one, and you came out of that on the other side, but it took a lot of work. Yeah, yeah that's true. And the first thing is that I lost two of my former husbands. They have both very beautiful. The first one I lost, he was 20 nine and I was 26 at that day and uh, he had a multiple sclerosis and a very very foudroyant form it went very very fast so I lost them him very very early and after that then the second arrived <laughs> like a like a charming prince and I have been lucky with him for about 40 years nearly 40 years the last years have been a very bad and hard time and very painful as well because he had a ba- very bad stroke. And uh, he sits in a wheelchair for nearly nine years, just a little bit less. And this was the time I started to get rid of all the pharmaceuticals because I see that they will not help him. And I start to give him... Um, antioxidants yeah, and uh, phyto juices and things like that and arginine to push him up and his own doctor told me that he will just stay alive for three months and at that time I decided no I don't accept that yeah I will never go with him this way and I quit all the things 17 <laughs> um I stop from one day to another and just give him high doses of what I just told you. And this give him then nearly nine more years. So he did not even really learn to walk alone. He needs, uh, I don't know what what it is. A walker. A walker, yes. And uh, somebody else at the other side, but he can walk. And the the most important thing that first he was... um, so damaged in his head, so much disturbed at that stroke, that he might be in the age of a baby like two or three years. He did not know anything. He, he didn't remember anything. He knows where I am, but nothing more. And then with this, he got back to life. And I see that he gets better every day. And the, the most important thing was in his head that he just know what day we have today. Or somebody comes to visit us, us uh, who was it? He, he, before he don't yeah, know, he, really he, he does not remember who was it. Uh, and I even, even if I tell him, he don't remember. So it was a very, very amazing ride 
with this. And I've been very satisfied with this, that I, I, that I got this to give him that long time, but at least he decided to go. He, he told me, I don't want to sit in a wheelchair anymore. I want to go now. I don't eat and I don't drink anymore. Give, don't give me anything. Don't force me. I won't, won't take it. I decide now to go upstairs here. Yeah, he's upstairs now watching over me. Sometimes he did not good enough with the watching, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not his fault. No, no, it's he not his fault. Yet. I know that. I know that. Because you know he would thing. protect you. If he could. he yeah. will. Because you went through a bad relationship after his death. Correct? Yes, yes. I fell in love with some very criminal man. He seemed to be my dream partner. Because uh, these narcissists, and he has been, or he is one, he didn't change until now, um, they are so charming and they are so manipulating you that you think he's exactly the one you are waiting for the rest of your life. It is, I thought now, because of these two husbands I had, and I did the work I did, and I did it with love, now I get the gift of heaven to spend the last time of my life very happily or with, with take somebody care, yeah. yes taking care of me and being very sweet with me loving caring and so on what we are uh, waiting for with a vice white horse you yeah. know the story the night. <laughs> yes. i always tell people there's not going to be a night wake so, up because there's not going to be one that's so, how I yes, said it. No. so and the, it, it seems to be him for me it was like a wow this is the one. And six weeks after knowing him, I married him. Not knowing that he has been 36 years before in jail. And there he learned how to uh, pick up everything somebody else has earned in his life. And to he tried to murder me three times. It is not that it doesn't seem so much, but... Every oh, single time, I it is it, enough. I think it seems like a lot. And you yeah. you somehow have turned that around. You're one of the top people at yes. Root. Yes, and I turned it around. You turned it around. And now you're helping other women. You're helping people all yeah. over the world. Yeah. Can you share that? How yeah, you turned sure, it around? Sure, I, I will share. And I use now the chance to say thank you to you and to Clayton because of you, I'm still alive. Otherwise, I would have gone that time one and a half year before because I don't want to stay in a world where somebody does this with me. I'm so strong and have been strong all the time. And then comes somebody trying to disturb your life every day. And I say, okay. I go up to my former husband sitting yeah. on the <laughs> cloud up there and look what they are doing here. And then Root comes, and Root from the first second changed my life completely. At that moment, I remember that I was a, like a light warrior, that the, I was somebody very special. I have been like in a, in a cage. I did not get out by myself because um, these people are, because of their their um, abuse, it is physically that you all day be careful that you don't get killed again. <laughs> so it's not a nice situation. Yeah. So you are really in a bad situation. And now, Ruth comes, and this was my, ah, yes, my first day of my new life. And at that time, I decided to help others to get out of their cage and in the everybody nearly is in a cage if it's financially in a bad situation if it's physically if they are ill whatever nearly everybody is in some cage somehow and i decided to help all the people i can get through out of this situation i want to make them strong again remember you are a um, a star in your life. You you light up everybody else around you. You can do the same like me. So it is not that strong 
performance you have to do. You just have to start with this. This will help you. What I found out helped me to get all these shades of my, my emotional uh, layers. Everything's gone. And I would like to help anybody else to do the same. And this is like a vision, and I follow you with this because it's your vision to, well, to the, turn off. Yes, to yeah. turn to turn the the wheel. They run in the wrong direction until now, but we can change their lives. And your vision is mine. So we are going the same way. And I I like to thank you again. So this is so amazing to go with you. And uh, I follow you wherever you go. Well, if, <laughs> whenever you need me, I will be there. I swear. Regina, thank you. That means a lot to me. And and we're on this journey together because we're helping with Root and the products and then also with mentorship yes. and helping other people. And I have to say that that touches my heart because, and, and some people help, like Dr. Elena helps by her scientific presentations. Mm -hmm. We each have these gifts, right, to help. And you're using your gifts. And that means so much because you could have easily gone to a different place. You could have easily mm -hmm. given up and lost hope. And, but instead, you're a leader. And you're a leader. It's one thing. You can't go to sleep. If anyone's ever met you, they're never going to go to sleep. I'm going to tell you that without remembering you. And that's true. And how many times in life do people meet people they don't even remember um, anything about them? And everybody's remembering you and that's one of the reasons you're such a strong leader and you will always be so you have a lot of love and a lot of light to share for at least 30 to 40 more years at least more or more 50 yes i i, I decide to get 150 minimum so you see i just have a half of my life now yeah so we go a long way together we do yes thank you <laughs> thank you regina <laughs>